Hello, here is the Region 26 Middle School Audition Etudes for 2022, starting with etude number one, marked Allegro. performance tempo, you can feel this etude more in one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's how I was playing it. And it fits really well with the style so that a strong beat is always felt on beat number one of every measure. It's kind of like a dance called a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, if you're not ready to play it that fast though, slow it down to where the quarter note gets the beat. And really make sure that all the eighth notes are really even, including your air output. We want our air to go evenly across the measure, not um, give more or less on note to note. So that creates that smooth arc-like figure. A couple other things to think about when you're learning this etude is that the dynamics are super, super important. We have these things called hairpins, crescendo and decrescendo in measure three to four, measure seven to eight. Really give that as much as you can in terms of uh, the volume contrast and that will really make it effective. The other dynamics that are really important is that in measure 9, you're all the way down to piano, really soft. And then measure 13, you come up a little bit stronger, mezzo forte. So we should hear that contrast because then again at measure 15, we get soft again. So make sure that these dynamics are really, really effective and present even from the beginning. So here's a practice tempo at quarter note equals 60. One, two, three. is the arpeggio. An arpeggio takes the first, the third, and the fifth note of a scale to create a chord-like pattern. The most common one that fits with the key, the F major arpeggio, which has the notes F, A, and C in its arpeggio. This happens really, really prominently at the end of the etude, starting at measure 24. There's our arpeggio and here's the measure. That's all the uh, it, that measure is, is the arpeggio. 
arpeggio. Another common arpeggio found is the D minor arpeggio, D, F, and A, found at measure 29, also at measure 11. Here's measure 11. With the arpeggio D, F, A. So if you can find some of these arpeggios and patterns in this etude, it really helps processing it a little bit easier on our brain cells here. Lastly, the tricky pattern at measure 19, 20, and 21 with these downward um, intervals. You really want to practice blowing down quickly. One way to do that is on your hand or with a Numa Pro if you have one. But if you don't, start at the top of your palm and blow down. Start slowly so that you can trace with the air. Once you think you got it, then go a little bit faster. And we need to do it about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times in a row or so, so that you really get it and you can play it in the etude. It's really fast air movement here in measure 19 and 20. So when we put it back into context, slowly, you're going to draw your air from the higher note to the lower note. I'm going to start on the third note of measure 19. hear really strong presence in your tone on both the upper note but more importantly the lower note. I'm going to play it one more time at our medium tempo at quarter note equals 100. One, 